In this video, I'm going to focus on shifting your stitches when working using the magic loop method. Sometimes when working in the round, in order to keep your stitch pattern consistent over the beginning of the round, a shift in stitches needs to happen. When you're working in magic loop, it can be a little bit trickier, so I'm going to show you how I like to rotate by a stitch at the beginning and end of a round. First, by moving the stitches backwards, and then I'll show you how to move the stitches forwards. So if we look at a sock, and I'm gonna use a sock as an example, but a sleeve or even a hat would be another example, working in magic loop, we have what we think of as the front stitches and the back stitches. Um, you can always use your cast on tail as an indicator as your beginning of round, and that will indicate which is the front and which is the back. If it's to the right, your front stitches are facing you. Um, I never find it hurts to clip on a cute little marker, so I like to do that as a reminder that I'm looking at the front stitches. So to move a stitch backwards, we need to move this very first stitch on the front needle to the back, and concurrently we want to move um, the last stitch, or pardon me, the first stitch on the back needle to become the last stitch on the front needle. So I'm gonna start by doing the beginning of round first. So if you were working a circular, this is where your marker would be. We're going to pull the back needle out, almost as if we're going to start working across the front. And I'm gonna grab that first stitch purlwise, slide it onto my needle, and then I'm going to just pull my cable all the way through And so now I have one extra stitch. It's an unworked stitch on the back. Your pattern should tell you whether you'll need to knit that stitch or skip it or slip it and work on the front needle. So now we've got one more stitch on the back needle than we have on the front. So we need to make that a little bit more even. So what I like to do is get all of my stitches onto the cable and it's dicey because you don't wanna close up and lose your halfway point, but I basically pinch it. So I have those last two stitches and we need to move this back one to the front. So I just push it around until it slid onto the front. So now we've rotated our beginning, whoops, better pull that through. <laughs> I've rotated my stitches by one stitch backwards. So now you can begin by placing your stitches back on the front needle, pulling your back needle out and ready to work in the round again on the front needle. Your working yarn is here. I'm gonna come back in a minute and show you how to move your stitches forward. So I've gone ahead and reoriented my stitches to the original position. And now I want to show you how I like to move my stitches forwards. It's very similar, obviously, to moving your stitches backwards. We're going to need to bring the last stitch on the back needle to the front needle, and then the last stitch on the front needle around to the back needle. I find it's always a little bit easier to work it in the reverse order of when we worked our stitches backwards. So I like to first pull my needles into the center, or pardon me, onto the cable, and again, pinch those last two stitches, and we're gonna slide that front stitch around the loop and pull my cable needle back through. And then what I find, because we're gonna be sliding this last stitch on the back needle forward, and I like to have my stitches as ready as possible, I move the stitches onto my front needle as if I'm gonna work them and then I fold my back needle, slide that stitch around. Actually, I'm gonna show you that a little differently so the yarn's not trapped, I apologize. I've got my working yarn here. I'm gonna hold it to the front, but I'm gonna fold this cable almost like I did at the other end, and I'm going to slide my stitch around and pull my cable back out. So now I have the stitch that I just slipped, which is the last stitch you just worked, on the right-hand needle. And you can either slip it onto your left-hand needle, depending on what your pattern says. If you have to knit it, you can. More often than not, you're gonna have to slip it 
and leave it unworked because it is the last stitch worked and then you'll continue in pattern. So there you go. That's how I like to move my stitches around in Magic Loop. Um, I hope you're able to use this technique sometime soon. It's a very simple technique, but something worth seeing. So thank you for watching and happy knitting.